all the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye, observe, shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord spare unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness, to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that no man doth live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. The raiment wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks and water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then shalt thou bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given thee. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Blessed when thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built goodly houses, and dwelt therein, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, where were fairy serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth out of the rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that thou might prove thee, and that he might prove thee, to do thee good at thy, la thy latter end. And thou say in thine heart, My power in the might of mine hand hath got to me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. And it shall be if that thou do all, and it shall be if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, and testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. As a reading that Deuteronomy chapter 8, I'd just like to share the gospel, is that God is manifest in the flesh, his name is Jesus. He died on the cross for the sins of the world. He was buried. He rose again the third day. And he was seen of many witnesses, above 500 brethren at once. And if you believe that from the heart, Scripture tells us you have eternal life. If you believe that, and you're not believing in your own works to go to heaven, but you just believe that gospel to receive God's free gift, of salvation that is eternal salvation that you can never work for i pray you believe that thank you for listening to god's word today